Hey guys, this is Brandon, and welcome back to another YouTube video on this channel. Now before we get into the video, take the time beforehand to like that video and subscribe to my channel and help support my channel as much as you can. Now let's get on to it. So six years ago, I created my first YouTube video ever, which hit over 28,000 views, which was called How to Make a Paper DS Light. Now, I am here today on this video to relive that memory, to relive the video. But instead of doing paper DS lights, I'm going to bring back origami time lapses. I'm not going to do the tutorials because I'm very terrible at explaining what to do. And besides, most videos nowadays for origami are just show it and learn it instead of teaching it and learn it. It's just showing what to do. As I said, I'm going to do a time-lapse video of making an origami dragon. So here we go, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with friends. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the video. So let's do this. So I finally got done with the time lapse and the origami itself. Here we go, the origami dragon. As you can see here, it has two hands. It's fold down like this. So you can see right here, it's fold down towards the bottom. We got two legs, obviously. They're pointing in the direction where the head is, because this is the head right here. The body. And then we got the tail right here. It's really thick. It's like big right here. And it slowly gets smaller. And then finally we have our bendable wings. The most important part of a dragon is the wings. Because dragons do fly. With the leftover paper you have, you could probably make some fireballs or something. You could also grab some more paper to make origami tanks or something. I don't know. Origami tanks are really simple to make. <laughs> but anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Alright. Fly. Fail. <laughs>